got to get moving, your van. You can't be serious, Bridget. It's going to be light soon. we got to get out of this city. Let it wait until tomorrow. No. At least let us clear that sniper. There's no time for that. we got to go now. Fire! Still quiet. Bridget, just give us half an hour. Do what you have to do. We're getting out of here now. You know there's a good chance you won't make it out of the city. The people waiting for these supplies have no chance unless we do. Damn it, Bridget. We need you here. And what I do here means absolutely nothing unless the people waiting for these supplies get them. Now, we've lost three shipments this week, and I intend to find out why. Bridget, this is Bosnia. We're in the midst of a civil war. That's what people would like to have us believe, but it's not that simple. Let's go. I sent a message to my friend Alexander Addington. If I'm not back in 48 hours, he'll contact you. Bridget, please. Our work must go on, with or without me. Let's go. You didn't wish me luck? evil, no matter where, no matter when, and no matter what the cost. I'm not going to be so easy on you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And I won't put my punches. Listen, you got to drop that bag right away so you can have both hands free. It's important. And if you've got somebody in an arm lock, it pays to wrap your leg around their ankle so they don't throw you. Where'd you come from? You're wanted at the office. Well, do I have time to change my shirt? You have time to grab whatever you like, because you're certainly not getting my car dressed like that. <laughs> so what you're telling me is lunch is out of the question. Yes, the probably runs. dinner as well. Continues to escalate. Outrageous. Heavy artillery fire Pump millions into that region. Fire through first-line charities in the hope of easing some of that suffering. 
Civilians are being targeted by sporadic sniper fire and are now fleeing the besieged city and of I get Sarajevo. this letter from my goddaughter. At the U.S. Yeah, it came today by special courier in the event that Bridget Arnell didn't get back from her mission. An outbreak of new violence between the Muslims seen and enough. the Christians. It seems that she was investigating the supply channels for first-line charities, trying to establish exactly what's been happening to the missing shipments of relief aid. How much do we know about first-line operations? All I needed to know was that it was being run by Bridget Arnell. And who's in charge now that she's missing? Mark Holtman's in charge in New York, but I haven't a clue who's running the show in Bosnia. As she says in her letter, First Line was having problems while she was there. Think what a mess they must be in now that she's gone. Well, we know that she was no babe in the woods. She must have known exactly what she was letting herself in for. Or I thought she did. Mr. A, there's a good chance that Arnell's dead. We've got to know what happened. And I want a detailed assessment on First Line's credibility. Well, the press is already beginning to speculate on what happened to the lost shipments. Exactly. We've got to bolster their image. And Miss Chamon, I want to use your talents in that respect. We've already arranged for you to work with that PR department in New York. Well, we're going to need more than PR to solve this problem. How are connections in Bosnia? Well, we've spoken to the people at First Line, and uh, they said they can get you into Sarajevo, but. Uh, there's no guarantee that they can get you out. So what else is new? I've arranged for you to work on the docks, Mr. Stone. And you, Peter, will be Bridget's replacement. I see you already have your papers from Bennett. Mr. Ray, you think dock workers are good cover for me? No, Mr. Sinclair had a rather good suggestion. Just turn the page. I'm deaf. You know, so there's something about this assignment I think I'm going to enjoy. You'll have a good flight. Your ears won't pop. Link out. JJ, will you join us? But I don't know sign language either. Aha. Uh -huh. But I know a man that does. Your patient's ready, JJ. <coughs> She's on auto, Pete. After that. So. What? I love you. Yeah, I know what you said. Where did you learn this stuff, JJ? <laughs> My grandmother was deaf. Yeah. All right, Teach. Let's see how much your grandmother taught you about working on the docks. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, listen to me. Uh, drive over here and uh, pick it up and put it over there. You got it, Stone? Hey, yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, tell me another one. Give me another one. <laughs> Whoa! Pete! Hey! I apologize for being late. It's not a problem. Please, come in. Have a seat. I hope your accommodations are all right. I realize that they're far from luxurious, but we are a charity after all. The apartment is just fine, thank you. When Mr. Addington offered to send us some public relations help, I never thought he was talking about somebody with your qualifications, Miss Shermont. We have to issue a press release as soon as possible, and I need some background information. I was hoping you could get me in to see your suppliers. Well, they should be eager to talk to you. Except for Alexander Addington, most people are into charities for the publicity. Something Mr. Addington always avoids. Right. Let's see what I've got here. Uh, suppliers, major contributors, sponsors, addresses, telephone numbers. What else would you need from First Line? Well, let me talk to a few of these people first. Perhaps we could get together at the end of the day. Say dinner? This will keep me busy most of the night. Of course. Well, how about a working breakfast? I'll just write down where I'll be at 8 in the morning. Perhaps we can talk then. All right. Mr. Oldman? It's a pleasure. And please, it's Mark, Miss Shermont. See you tomorrow, Mark. Tomorrow. Okay, I'll take it on just outside the door. Two! Gate two!
got to say is it's coming better work. I'm a 40-year-old mom, and I think I look better than ever. Wow. Last year, I had a baby, gained some weight, <laughs> went on Nutrisystem, and went from a size 10 to a size 4 again. I love my new body. I look in the mirror, and I see this completely different person from who I was before. You can't miss the results of new Nutrisystem Advanced, the weight loss program that helps you eat great and lose weight. My name is Kara, and I lost 30 pounds on Nutrisystem. For the first time in a long time, I love to prance around in a bikini. I feel confident. I feel sexier. I feel like I'm me again. Call or go online now to order and start losing weight today. Plus, first-time buyers are eligible to get one full week of Nutrisystem meals free. I get to eat five times a day. Wow, the food tastes great. I can't think of any other diet I've tried where I was allowed to eat chocolate, and I love chocolate. With the Nutrisystem Advantage, the foods you love, pizza, lasagna, and chocolate are not off limits. I love my new body. So here I am, a grandmother, and I can still look sexy in a bikini. I haven't worn a size four since I was in high school. It is so amazing. Every portion for weight loss Nutrisystem meal is delivered right to your door. You don't have to count, measure, or weigh anything. If you want real results, the kind that let everyone you love see the new you, the real you, then you have to order Nutrisystem today. I love my new body. Thanks, Nutrisystem. Plus, it's affordable. For about $12 a day on our auto delivery program, you'll enjoy portion for weight loss, delicious meals, and your shipping is included. But there's more. First-time buyers are eligible to receive an extra seven breakfasts, seven lunches, seven dinners, and seven desserts. One full week of food absolutely free. I love being a mom, and I love having my body back. I found the new me, and this is the real me. It's so easy. Why stay heavy another day? See how the new new system can change your body and you can get a full week of food absolutely free call now to find out how more movies more often stick around every day on lone star cinema i told you to stop did you hear me i can blow your brains up with this Anything. Put your gun down, Papa. He's dead. He can't hear. This area is restricted. I can get him right here. I know. I know you could. But if you do, who will do the work? You? Ah, good morning. Well, we run a tight ship at first line. Yeah, that's apparent from the records. I wouldn't have guessed it until I saw them. Well, the offices are donated. And my suits, well, you gotta spend a little money to raise money. Actually, this is more my style. You put my mind to rest. Nope, I hope you don't mind. I had to go ahead and start without you. Uh, Mommy, did you uh, have a chance to see this? Did you get what you need from the suppliers? Oh, yes, they've been very helpful. Great. The uh, special's good. We'll have to get something out right away to counter this. What do you need from me? Well, I'd like to know a little bit more about you. Well, I'd like to know a little more about you, too. 
Since the stories of supplies disappearing hit the papers, there's been a distinct drop-off in contributions. Yes, and with Brigitte's disappearance, that's gonna cause a lot of troubles, too. Well, everyone associated Brigitte with First Line. Now that she's gone, people don't know who's running the show. I am. Exactly. So we have to let people know who you are and what you do? Well, the limelight is not exactly my uh, style. That's a luxury you can't afford anymore. You took First Line from a small elite group of contributors to an international charity with a budget of nearly $100 million. You've really done your homework. And you've got a story to tell. Tell me something, are you always this enthusiastic? Only when it matters. I like that. Good, so let's start with Bosnia. You've been there, right? Yeah. What is it like? Who's running the show over there? So many questions. Uh, oh, boy, I didn't realize we were getting so late. Look, uh, I'm going to go back to the office, and I'll have them uh, pull all of Brigitte's files for you. Once you have a chance to look through them, uh, why don't we talk? Oh, can I keep this? Yeah, sure. There you go, thanks. The rest is for you. You don't take the receipt? Yeah, of course. Business breakfast. Thanks. What's the expression? Can't tell the players without a program? Mr. Sinclair, I'm Jovan Vushevich. I see you found your office okay. Yes, thank you. It belonged to your predecessor, Richard Darnell. Yeah, not very tidy, was she? Any news of her? Nothing. She disappeared without a trace somewhere near here, heading for Garajda. By simply crossing the streets in some of these villages, you change allegiances, therefore putting your life on the line. I understand that you were the last one to see her alive. Her truck left under a Serbian mortar barrage. And from what we heard, they made it out of the city. After that, nothing. Hmm. How long have you worked for First Line? Hmm? Oh, six months, Mr. Sinclair. Any previous experience? Not in this field, I'm afraid. There's so much to do here, and so few people to do it, that courage and stamina have become the primary job qualifications. Stand out, Mr. Vashevich. Please call me Jovan. You've probably heard quite a few rumors since arriving here. A situation like this breeds them. What are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting anything. Mr. Sinclair, there's no way Bridget could have been involved with the missing shipments. I have never seen anyone as dedicated to their work as she was. Well, Mr. Addington will be very pleased to hear that. Very pleased indeed. Unfortunately, he's made me responsible for finding out who is involved. So I'd like to start by seeing your shipping manifest. Of course, the downstairs. How are you doing, Gabriel? I've got what I want from the people outside, first line. Well, I hope they're still behind the organization. Oh, yes, 100%, despite the stories they've seen. For first line to continue, we've got to refute those stories. Well, as soon as I get a chance to interview Mr. Holtman, the press release will be ready. 
But he's a hard man to pin down. Well, make it clear again exactly what's at stake. How are the missing shipments, Peter? Well, we're tracing the supply lines now. Any details on Bridget's disappearance? Well, nothing concrete. It seems that uh, Jovan Vucevic was the last one to see her alive. He's running the show for first line, but well, he's trying to. What about the insignia Stone asked me to run down? It belongs to a Bosnian splinter group known as VAS. Um, supposedly fighting for the Bosnians, but their politics are very far right, almost fascist. I'd like to see that insignia. It's on its way, Gabriel. Thank you, Elaine. Oh, the latest shipping schedule should be in your office by now. Yes, we received it. It has been sent to Mr. Sinclair. Yeah, I have it right here. Now, according to this, the next shipment out of New York arrives in Bosnia tomorrow morning. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and put First Line Charities back on track. I think it's going to take more than luck, sir. Well, if there's any truth to them, Gabrielle, these newspaper stories are very disturbing. I've called the writer, Mr. Booker, to try to verify his sources. As soon as I find out anything new, I will get in touch. Be careful. Tracker working. There is a bell. Gotcha. Freddy's are supposed to be square. Have any of these diamond shapes gone out? Uh... New Diamond Shreddy cereal. Same 100% whole grain wheat in a delicious diamond shape. Do you like pancakes? Then you'll love Pancake Puffs because the tastiest pancakes are round, completely round, and revolutionary. Introducing the Pancake Puff Pan. Pancake Puffs are easy to make. Simply use your favorite pancake batter, pour, and flip. Easier than flipping a regular pancake. You can enjoy Pancake Puffs with your favorite syrup or roll them in cinnamon sugar. Pancake puffs make the perfect finger food. Kids love them for breakfast, desserts, or snacks. Anytime, every time. 
The Pancake Puff Pan is crafted from durable cast iron, which distributes heat evenly over seven deep wells to make the perfect pancake puff every time. With its non-stick coating, cleanup's a breeze. Just pour and flip. Fill pancake puffs with your favorite filling. Decadent chocolate, delicious jams, creamy pudding, scrumptious caramel apple, fancy whipped cream. There are endless possibilities with the Pancake Puff Pan. No more pizza deliveries. Make your own pepperoni pizza puffs, meatball sandwich puffs, pigs in a blanket, spicy jalapeno puffs, even crab cake puffs. Make any flavored puffs you like using your favorite batter. Blueberry muffin puffs, cornbread puffs, brownie puffs, tasty cake puffs, even cinnamon roll puffs. Great for any party or special occasion. Call now to order the amazing Pancake Puff Pan and we'll include a set of flipping sticks and the quick and easy recipe book so you can make all of these tasty treats and more, all for only $24.95 plus shipping and handling. But wait, when you call, don't forget to ask your operator about the special Chef's Upgrade offer, which includes our gourmet flavor filler, professional handle mitt cover, 50 flipping sticks, and more. Now there are three convenient ways to order your Pancake Puff Pan. Have your credit card ready and call the toll-free number on your screen or visit us at innerwood.com to place your order there. You can also send a check or money order to the address on your screen. Order now. I'm sorry I had to drag you along. Well, I couldn't let you do this by yourself. One never knows what he will encounter out here. Sophisticated piece of machinery. Yeah, it is. What does it do? Well, we planted a transmitter in the latest shipment of relief aid. Oh, and it sends a signal back here to us? Yeah. Perhaps if we could have done this before, we just didn't have the technology. Mm. Hold it. Hold it. Looks like they may have stopped. Yeah, they have. If they'd come across a minefield, we could be here for hours. Where are we? Somewhere near here. Mm -hmm. I think I'd like to stretch my legs. Will you call me if they start up again? Yeah, sure. stayed in better places. <laughs> yeah, a lot worse ones, I'll wager. Uh-huh. Look, it seems as though you're heading north into the mountains. Yeah, we're running parallel due west. Stay in touch. Hand that over, Mr. Sinclair. Out of the car, please. say to you is for you alone. Why? What are you afraid of? Your employer. First Line Charities. I don't work for First Line. I'm just doing PR for them. I figured that out. That's why I think you should know what you're getting yourself into. I've read your stories. <laughs> and I suppose you figure that I have an axe to grind with First Line. I don't. Will you let me speak with your sources? No. You'll have to develop those on your own. I will give you a hint. Things were running fine when Brigitte was around. What is that supposed to mean? Look, Ms. Germain, this world is bad enough without people like me stirring up trouble. But when I hear of wide-scale skimming and profiteering on human misery, I get mad. Are you accusing First Line of that? I'm saying that you've got the inside track. Look for yourself. Never underestimate what money can do to people, Monsieur Mont. I'm around if you have to call me.
somebody there. Who is it? Bridget? Who's asking? It's me, Peter Sinclair. Who? I work for Alexander. Alexander Addington. Are you all right? They hurt you. I'm all right. What, what are you doing here? Believe it or not, I came to get you out. Oh. Unfortunately, it has not been a very good day. Oh. Unfortunately, I'm not alone. So, yeah. we're trying to undo these knots. Find what you're after? Well, I went through Bridget's files. They were very complete until a couple of days before she vanished. Well, that's everything we have, I'm afraid. I can help piece things together over dinner, maybe. Well, I, I, I'm expecting a call from Mr. Addington's office. They're supposed to give me an okay on the press release. I don't mind waiting. Oh. Can you tell me anything about that? That must be your call from Paris. Hello. Gabriel? Hello. Eileen, I was waiting for your call. We tracked down those telephone records you sent us. Can you talk? No, but give me what you've got. One number is particularly suspicious. A Swiss bank. We're still trying to check their records. I can change that easily. Gabrielle, do you need some help? No, I can do those changes by, uh, by tomorrow morning. Oh, and I'll fax you the entire release as soon as uh, I interview Mr. Holtman. Goodbye, Ellen. Thank you. Any problems? No, not really. A few additions that Mr. Eddington wants to make. I think I'll go home to do them. Does that mean that our dinner's postponed? <laughs> I'm afraid so. Oh, yes, the insignia. It's VAS. I'm afraid I can't tell you very much about it. What about your men in Bosnia, Jovan Vucevic? Well, he came with the territory, actually. I can pull the latest on him and have it on your desk in the morning. If that's soon enough. Fine. Great. Well, I'll walk you out. I'll help you get a taxi. Oh, your hat. <laughs> Pavla, we're moving out at first light. I don't think the Brit was foolish enough to come by himself. Send word that Arnold's ransom demand should be delivered. The rest of you men, come with me now. Come on. Let's go. One sentry's posted, then start learning business. Have you been to Bosnia, Gabrielle? No, but I've been to similar places. It's hell. Pure, unrelenting hell. Do you know that we'd be killed in Sarajevo for doing what we're doing right now? How long did you spend there? Basically long enough just to get frustrated. I mean, if the world can't stop the fighting, what are we supposed to do? The best we can. Ah, I see. An idealist, are you? Aren't you? You know, I've learned a lot working at First Line. Basically, that for every Brigitte Arnell, there are 100 less well-motivated people, mostly the kinds we're trying to help. Yes, I'm coming. It just came over the wire services. They demanded a ransom from Brigitte Arnell. What? Who? I'll lay 10 to 1 that it was VAS, but I'll call you. Thanks. I know you won. Any problem? Yes. Bridget being held for ransom. What? By who? VAS. I don't believe this. Well, I better go home. Yeah, I've got to go make some calls. Good night. Good night. Found 
what you were looking for. I have the feeling you are not what you claim to be, Mr. Sinclair. You were sent here to spy on us, weren't you? <laughs> but by whom? The Croatians? The Muslims? Who sent you? I told you. I was simply sent to find Bridget and to trace the shipments of relief aid. No, no, I do not think so. You are a spy. I am not a bloody spy! Communications equipment. Brilliant. Therefore, you are not alone. You will tell me where your Confederates are located. A lot closer than you'd like to think. <laughs> you shall have to do better than that, Mr. Sinclair. You could find yourself the next front page atrocity in this war. Bring them outside. Moms, are you looking for a complete, wholesome school lunch that's convenient, too? Try Schneider's Smart Lunch. Each lunch bag contains a chicken fajita, bagel, pizza, or chicken taco, along with crispy rice squares and fruit snacks. Smart Lunch bags also contain sweet and dried fruit and 100% fruit juice from concentrate with added vitamin C. Plus, you can add extra items to the compostable, reusable bag. Feel good giving them Schneider's Smart Lunch to help get them through the day. Grand Power, helping you buy better. Precious Lord. Take my hand, lead me on, help me stand, I'm tired, I'm weak, I am worn, through the storm. Take my hand, precious Lord, and lead me on. You can take a child's hand right now. Please call and reach out to a child in desperate need. You can bring hope to a girl like Raina, who sifts through garbage all day just to survive. Precious Lord, take my hand. You can help an orphan like Aseza, whose mother and father died of AIDS. I'm tired. You can save the life of a child like Safi, who is nine years old and weighs only 31 pounds. Through the storm, through the night. All it takes is about a dollar a day. Call now for the photo and story of a child you can help. Precious Lord, Don't put it off, because every moment matters to the child who's waiting for you. Please call World Vision and sponsor a child today. Change a life. Change your own. Lone Star Cinema. Do not forget, we've had centuries to devise our sport. That's...
yourself a part of ethnic cleansing, Mr. Sinclair. Sleep tight, buddy. I think it's time we put this to an end. Helena. Any word on that Swiss account? Mr. Eddington prevailed on a Swiss to give him some information, and we know that large deposits were made from Belgrade on that account. What about the dates? They correspond roughly to the missing shipments. Did they give a name? No, no, no. But they did hint that while the deposits were made from Belgrade, all the inquiries come from North America.
Gabriel. I need to talk to you, Gabriel. You know about Jovan and me, don't you? He would have stolen the supplies anyway. And if it wasn't for Jovan, it, it, it would have been somebody else just like him. Gabriel? You don't know what it's like over there. It's dog eat dog. Eventually, they get what they need. It's just that everybody else has to get their slice. That's the way it works. And listen to me. I didn't know anything about, about Brigitte. Believe me. Jovan went too far. Gabrielle. Gabrielle, they're all corrupt. Jovan, everybody. And we're just a part of their game. And you played alone. I didn't have any choice. Of course you did. How can I convince you that I didn't know? You don't have to convince me of anything. Stay right there. Look, there is enough in it for both of us. I, I didn't know anything about the ransom, believe me. What do you French say? It's a fait accompli. The game's over. Why not just go along for the ride? Because I don't like the company. Wrong answer. of your rescue has taken First Line's problems right off the front page. One more reason why I should be thankful, Alexander, is if I need another one. <laughs> uh, most of those thanks should go to Miss Germain. When he heard you were back in charge, Bouquet decided to kill his expose. I take that as a compliment. Anyone who thought First Line had problems then will be doubly suspicious now. So I consider that a challenge, as opposed to a compliment. So where do you begin rebuilding First Line's reputation? Exactly where I left off, Peter. First Line has a relief flight going to Sarajevo in two hours, and I plan to be on it. Well, I can't say it's all been a pleasure. It was certainly a privilege. I can't thank you enough. Bridget, keep your head down. Give him hell. <sighs> I'll try, Mr. Stone. Stone. Thank you. Good luck. Oh, when you come back. I would really love to make a story on you. Well, I hope I have something more positive to offer then. I'm sure about that. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, right, if you can. <laughs> now, is there anything I can do? Anything at all? Don't worry. I will not hesitate to ask. Now, you keep in touch. Every 24 hours. I'm not chasing you all over the map. <laughs>
It's not going to be rosy all alone in Bosnia. Get me Larry at the State Department. Now, no change ever takes place without conflict. We've just got to protect those people who have vision enough to make our futures brighter for us. <laughs>